Hey everyone, this is Chris Brown here again, and I'd like to officially welcome you to module number one of the Unfair Advantage Marketing System. Now, as you can see here, this is a picture of me and I'm at the Disney World Resort. Now, the tagline of the Disney World Resort is the place where dreams come true. And yes, they do come true for a week or two. But what happens after your vacation? You go home, right? So what is your dream? We don't want you just to make a living. Now, one of my dreams was to live my life like I'm on vacation. So recently, I moved about a mile from the Disney World Resort. Now, what is your dream? We all have friends, family, hobbies, and things we'd rather do than working, right? However, we need the time and the money to do those things. Now, this here is Steve Jobs. But who is this? His name is Jack Wells. He started his business in 1946. And at age 106, he is the oldest living business owner. In Berrien Springs, Michigan, there's a place called Toppers that opened up the same year McDonald's opened. Steve Jobs and McDonald's used the formula to make more in less time. Now, even though you may not realize it yet, science is a big part of business. So what we can do is we can use the laws of mother nature in order to be more successful. Now, if you've ever seen the TV show, The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Cooper is a quantum physicist. Now, how many of you understand quantum physics? <laughs> Don't worry, neither do I. But I do understand some of the basic principles. Now, to keep things simple, you've probably heard the term the 80-20 principle. Quantum physics shows us that we get 80% of our results from 20% of our effort. And since we know that, we can focus on things that generate 80% of our revenue. We see a lot of businesses wasting a lot of time on things that keeps us busy, but has very little impact on the overall success of our business. Now, because of this science, we see that most businesses are working an additional six hours per day more than they need to. Now, I hear a lot of businesses tell me that they are too busy. They are not too busy. They are just too busy doing the wrong things. The book, The 80-20 Principle, says that hard work makes a person too busy to see what's important. Now, 250 years ago, 98% of people were in food production. Because of the Industrial Revolution, it dropped to only about 3%. We produce more food with less effort. The same is true in the information age. We have provided you with the tools to get more done with less effort. Because of this, Tim Ferriss wrote the four hour work week, escape the nine to five, live anywhere and join the new rich. This is all possible because of the 80, 20 principle of quantum physics. Because of this, I moved less than a mile from the Disney World Resort. Take for instance, this video. I wrote this video hanging out at the Floridian Resort. Because of this principle, you will see that there are some customers who are just a lot more work than they're actually worth. You might even decide to get rid of certain customers because they require too much of your time compared to what you're being paid. You might also decide to stop doing certain tasks in your business. Some of you are trying to be a successful business owner doing the job of a $15 to $30 per hour employee. We have experts who will do some of your unimportant tasks for you for as little as five bucks. Now, we all know that most businesses fail, right? Now, 80% of small businesses fail within their first five years, and 97% fail in 10 years. Now, on the other hand, franchises have an 80% chance of, of success in those same five years, and 70% of home-based businesses succeed in just three years. Now, before you became a customer, I shared with you $1.5 billion in research of what all the world's most successful people and businesses have in common. Now, eMyth Worldwide says that the businesses that use marketing systems, 95% of them succeed. Franchises and home-based businesses built their business based upon systems. No matter what your opinion is, the facts show 80% succeed in five years, and 70% of home-based businesses succeed in only three years, because both franchises and home-based businesses have spent tens of millions of dollars figuring out a proven method of success, where small businesses are left to figure everything out on their own. 
Now, I'm not suggesting that you start a franchise, but rather build your business off the same systems franchises do, which as part of this system, we have done for you. We'll get more into that in future modules. But first, what good is a doctor without tools? And what good is that same doctor without the education to use those tools? Now again, we have provided you with not only the tools, but also the education to get the most out of those tools. Now what a lot of business owners do is spend all this money buying tools and all these things that are supposed to improve their business. But it only improves their business to a moderate degree because they made a bad decision because they did not have the financial education and left the building of the business and marketing to someone else or they did not have the education to use those tools take for instance this self-employed businessman here he used a tool you all have the telephone to build a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar per month income in his first 12 months by working an average of two hours per day by using the 80 20 rule and eventually sold his company for $36 million. Now, in some of our previous videos, you saw that Dun Bradstreet says that the businesses that focus on personal development, 90% of them succeed. And other research shows that the average millionaire spends 60 minutes a day educating themselves on financial issues, whereas the average millionaire has read the book Think and Grow Rich 14 times and the book How to Win Friends and Influence People seven times. Now, Rick Harrison of the TV show Pawn Stars reads three hours a day, of course, on things educating himself about his business, but also on history and things about his own products and services. Now, Jim Carrey calls the self-help section at the bookstore the Jim Carrey section because he has read so many success books he needed to develop the skills not to be an actor, but to become a successful actor. Now, on the other hand, the average person watches six hours of TV every night and spends another five hours online in non-productive activity and two hours on their cell phone in non-conversational activity. Now, even if your goal is not to become a millionaire, the goal is still the same. The money motivated person wants to make more money with less effort so they can make more money faster. Your goal might be to make more money by working less hours. So it doesn't matter how much that you make per year, what matters is how much that you make for every hour that you work. Okay, now we got that covered. Let me share with you the formula that Ray Kroc of McDonald's and Steve Jobs of McDonald's used to make more money in less time and how you're gonna use this to do the same. Now in future modules, we will show you some ideas for additional streams of income that will make you more money, but will require less time. But before we get started, we need to create your business plan. Most businesses do not have a plan. They just say, I wanna make some money. But you have to have a plan to be able to do that. Or they don't focus on sales at all, instead they focus on their craft. In other words, what they do. You need to stop working and start selling. The moment you stopped working a job, you became a marketer of the products and services you provide. A dentist who works as a dentist is a dentist, but a dentist who runs his own dental practice is number one, the marketer of dental services, even though he still might do the job of a dentist. Now down below this video, we have provided you, you with your business plan that we call as the mathematical formula to writing your own check. Now, as I mentioned, science is a big part of business. This is Mark Yarnell. We will talk more about him in module number two. Now, Mark Yarnell is a self-employed business owner. He built a $36 million business by working an average of two hours per day. Now, how did he do this? Now, we've all heard that sales is a numbers game, right? But has anyone ever told you what those numbers are? Probably not. When you know how much that you make per sale, and you know what, how many people you have to expose to your marketing message in order to make that sale, at that point you just wrote your own check. Now this here is W. Clement Stone. He made 122 sales per day, earning him a million dollars a year during the Great Depression. Now W. Clement Stone was not unusually talented. He just knew how many people he needed to expose to his message to make one sale. And he repeated the process 122 times per day. 
That is quantum physics.